Good day, Gateway Church. I am so excited to be able to bring today's soap reading to you. Doing our daily soap reading is so important in our lives. It really is to just put the scripture into our lives, into our hearts, into our minds, and to be able to hold on to that anchor and that truth that's there for us every day. So I hope you have your soap reading from the book from March. Okay, today is Luke uh, 7 and 8, and I'm going to read you right from uh, chapter 8, verse 22. It says, Jesus calms the storm. One day Jesus said to his disciples, let us go over to the other side of the lake. So they got into the boat and set out. As they sailed, he fell asleep. A squall came down on the lake so that the boat was being swamped, and they were in great danger. The disciples went and woke him, saying, Master, Master, we're going to drown. He got up, and he rebuked the wind and the raging waters, and the storm subsided, and all was calm. Where is your faith? he asked the disciples. In fear and amazement, they asked one another, Who is this? He commands even the winds and the water, and they obey him. So today, those scriptures really, really spoke to me. We're in the midst of a storm here in our world. As we know it, things have changed drastically from last week to this week. And here's Jesus in the middle of a storm, in a boat, and what does he do? He's sleeping. He is sound asleep during this storm. You know what that tells me? It tells me that Jesus is not afraid. It tells me that he's got things under control. And I am holding on to that word today. But it also shows us in the scripture that the disciples were afraid. They were panic struck. They did not know what to do. So who did they go to? They went to Jesus. They woke him up and said, we're afraid. Help us out here. We don't know what to do. But that's like us today. We're afraid. We don't know what to do. We're afraid of being swamped by this virus. We're fear of being drowned, just like the disciples were. They went to Jesus. They went to the master. And you know what? That's what we need to do today. We need to go to the master. We need to go to the person that can calm the storm that's in our lives. And Jesus answered, just answered them, just like he'll answer us. He rebuked the wind and the raging waters. And suddenly all was calm. And he's going to do that in our lives here today, too. He is going to make everything calm. We just have to trust in him. And then Jesus asked this big, big question. And this is what I struggle with today. It says, where is your faith? Who is your faith in? Is it in the master, the master who calms the storms? Or is it in all the reports of everything that is happening here in the world around us? I certainly hope that isn't the answer that you have. I hope your answer is your, your faith is in your master. But that's his question to all of us. And then the disciples, they were amazed and they asked, who is this? He calms the winds and the waves. Who is him? So we asked today, who is our peace speaker? Who is it? I was part of an Easter drama a long time ago when I lived in Alabama. And they had this scene as part of the the Easter drama and the wind and the waves were there and Jesus was there and guess what Jesus calmed those winds and waves he did and they sang this song called the peace speaker and I hold those words dearly in my heart and I'm going to read some of them to you today because I think it applies to all of us the words say I know the peace speaker I know him by name I know the peace speaker he controls the winds and waves. When he says, peace, be still, they have to obey. I'm glad I know the peace speaker. Yes, I know him by name. And my prayer for all of you today is that you do know this peace speaker, the one who can calm the winds and the waves that are currently in your life. We here at the Gateway Church want you to know that we are praying for you daily. And should you have any needs or any concerns, please give us a call here at the church. We are happy to pray with you and to help you meet those needs because Jesus is the peace speaker at this time. So let me close in prayer. Father, I thank you, Lord, so much for your word today, your word of encouragement, letting us know that you do calm the wind and the waves as the peace speaker in our lives. Be with our friends today, Lord, those who are listening, 
And we thank you, Jesus, Lord God, for who you are and all that you are in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.